in this uh, section we'll talk about few more polysaccharides we have already discussed starch and cellulose the next one that we want to discuss is glycogen glycogen is a homopolysaccharide and homopolysaccharide it is made up of only glucose molecules and it is a storage polysaccharide it is stored but it is stored in animals and that is why it is also known as animal starch starch is the storage carbohydrate in plant and glycogen is the storage carbohydrates in animals and that is why it is many a times referred to as animal starch and the places where it is stored is in liver and muscles so these are the two storage places where we find glycogen stored glycogen has 1,4 alpha glycosidic bonds now by just seeing this number and this type what what, what comes to our mind is the structure is linear and many 1,6 glycosidic bonds that means it is highly branched structure 1,4 gives it a linear structure and 1,6 bonds would make branching and here we are writing many that means there are many many branches and so we say it is a highly branched structure it also gives a color reaction with iodine it gives red color with iodine so this is how we identify the glycogen and other molecules differences so color reaction plus structurally alpha bonds are present so we are able to digest it or break it and the bonds are 1,4 and 1,6 this is one more polysaccharide the next one that we want to discuss here is chitin chitin is a homopolysaccharide and when we say homopolysaccharide means one unit the unit which it is made up of is written as n acetyl glucosamine glucosamine this is the mono unit it is actually a modified form of glucose and amino group is also added to glucose and it is n acetyl glucosamine but the complete chitin molecule is made up of only n acetyl glucosamine so mono unit remains the same and it is structural polysaccharide where is it found it is found in cell wall of sorry cell wall of fungi and it is also found in exoskeleton of arthropods exoskeleton of arthropods so these are the two places where we can find chitin next poly sorry next polysaccharide the fifth one is inulin it is a polysaccharide or a polymer of fructose only fructose that means again it is a homopolysaccharide and it is found in roots of dahlia plant only made up of fructose the next one is agar it is also written as agar agar it is also homopolysaccharide made up of only galactose and it is used to thicken the nutritive medium for various types of culture techniques like tissue culture and all agar is extracted from red algae like gelidium so from here it is extracted and it is used to make nutritive mediums next one is hemicellulose 
hemicellulose is a heteropolysaccharide and it is the material or a matrix kind of a substance in which the cellulose fibers are arranged in the cell wall. Heteropolysaccharide and it is made up of galactose, mannose, xylose and arbinose. So there are four different units which are present in hemicellulose. So this is a heteropolysaccharide. We will talk about one more important thing here and they are known as mucopolysaccharides. Mucopolysaccharides. Mucopolysaccharides are slimy, sticky. So they are slimy substances. Few examples of mucopolysaccharide. First, pectin. This pectin is present in the middle lamella part. Where we talk of cell wall, the middle lamella, it is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate. So this pectin is a mucopolysaccharide. And it is made up of galacturonic acid and glucuronic acid glucuronic acid and it is found in middle lamella another example of mucopolysaccharide is heparin heparin is an anticoagulant which is found in our blood anticoagulant then we have another mucopolysaccharide. I'm writing it here now. The other mucopolysaccharide is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. It is found in joints, in synovial fluid where lubrication is required. So it is found in synovial fluid or it is also found in vitreous humor. In our eye, the posterior chamber that we have has vitreous humor, which is also known as Wharton's jelly. That also has this. These are important mucopolysaccharides that we are talking of. One more mucopolysaccharide that we normally talk of is extracted from a plant and it is eaten up or taken by old people. That substance is known as isabgol. Isabgol is normally given or uh, old people are asked after their uh, dinner, they are asked to take isabgol. This reduces the chances of constipation. This is also a mucopolysaccharide. It just helps that peristalsis to take place properly. It is extracted from a plant which is called plantago ovata. So this isabgol, which is taken is again a mucopolysaccharide. Now here we will add one more uh, polysaccharide. Uh, let me put the number here as 9 and that is known as callose. Callose is homopolysaccharide. It is made up of glucose. But the bonds are very peculiar in this. The bonds are beta bonds. That means... They cannot be digested and it is between first and third carbon. So it is beta 1, 3 glycosidic bond. And the area where we can find this callus, there are two, three areas which we can recall. Number one, when the polar tube is formed, there are callus plugs formed to keep the complete content towards the tip. For example, if this is the pollen tube formed, here are the two male gametes and this is the cytoplasmic content of the tube nucleus. So here the plugs are formed at different levels so that the complete content remains at the tip. Here is callus. Secondly, in pollen grain, we make a large cell that is tube cell and in this there is a smaller generator cell, the wall of generator cell, wall of generative cell is also made up of callose. So callose is again a homopolysaccharide of glucose but the bonds are different. 
they are one three bonds that means first carbon of one glucose and third carbon of another glucose the bonds are beta bonds that means the digestion of these bonds is not possible with alpha amylases so these are various kinds of uh, polysaccharides some are homopolysaccharides some are heteropolysaccharides now amongst mucopolysaccharides we can add one more polysaccharide here and i'm writing it here now those are called keratin sulfate and chondroitin sulfate keratin sulfate and chondroitin sulfate these are found in cornea skin and cartilage cornea skin and cartilage the main thing about mucopolysaccharide is that they are slimy in nature and normally they help in lubrication except for few like heparin which is an anticoagulant but that is the main nature of mucopolysaccharides so classification wise we can have structural and storage and homo and heteropolysaccharides so these are various types of polysaccharides which are uh, present and we have seen their composition also and function now from the next uh, uh, part or next video we will start with the next biomolecule